Hello, I'm Sam. I modeled T-45 Power Armor from my favorite game series, Fallout. It took 70 hours to complete and consists of 30 unique parts with hundreds of sketches and planes. The fusion core inserts into the back and there are limiting angles on some of the joints. I did this using mates. I began by sketching to get an idea of the proportions and the details. Then modeled the lower leg using lofts and surfaces. This part took me over 10 hours since I was new to SolidWorks. I had difficulty mating the fingers because it was too much for my computer to handle. Mating was one of the toughest parts of this project. The shoulders may have been the most difficult part to model. I used lofts with guide curves, cuts, scaling, and boundary surfaces to create the shape, then added details with projected extrusions. Most of the details of the helmet were created with projected extrusions and sweeps as well. To create the overall shape, I used two lofts, and the snout shape was extremely difficult to get right. Again, guide curves played a huge role in refining the shape. The helmet has over 30 planes and over 70 features and was the most fun to build. For the FEA simulation, I took the weight of the armor about 2,000 pounds, multiplied by a safety factor of 3.5 and put half of it on the front foot. This yielded a displacement of 0.02 millimeters on the top. I then found the stress and strain to be under yield strain. I did a flow sim on the air tank as well. There is higher pressure in the tank than the pipe. Here you can see me playing around with the materials and the renderings. I'm glad I did this project because I learned so much and had fun with it.